Good morning. It's Friday, October 2nd, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Veritas Equitus, and our scripture is Isaiah chapter 59, verse 14. Our courts suppose the righteous, and justice is nowhere to be found. Truth stumbles in the streets, and honesty has been outlawed. According to the dictionary, veritas equitus is a Latin phrase for truth and justice and is a motto that stands for personal honor and truth in actions and justice, regardless of the circumstances. Isaiah had the ear of the rich and powerful among Israel's elite. When truth and justice gave way to power brokering and personal gain, the prophet could not stay silent. He called out the sinful and selfish facade of the religious and political leaders. Isaiah was God's mouthpiece. Doing his job, speaking for truth and justice, meant he paid the full price of the last measure of faithfulness. The unjust, ever untruthful, but powerful religio-political elite had him cut in two with a saw. Watching the so-called presidential debate last Tuesday night, The voice from 28 centuries past spoke loudly and was received sadly. I cannot recall a time when I was more ashamed of two men who were vying for the most dignified position of President of the United States but acting more like two fifth graders yelling at each other. Truth and justice are not dead because God ever lives. But in the eyes of the watching world this past Tuesday, Veritas and Equitus took it on the chin in the name of winning. I trust some voices in the true spirit of Prophet Isaiah will speak up and decry the injustice and crass ambition we've seen replace any kind of integrity in the political process. Our Lord's words declare He is the way to God, the unquestioned truth of justice, and everything that means and gives life. I'm not entirely sure He would even vote this time. For you today, there are two major candidates running for president and a couple hundred million voters who will decide which of the fifth graders will occupy the Oval Office for the next four years. This is a time to pray hard. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.